Hello everyone, I'm Dracona, and I just saw IT Chapter 2, and I have mixed feelings about it. The beginning setup was pretty rushed, but there were some cool scene transitions, which pretty much disappeared later in the film. Uh, a lot of things were really on the nose, like the fact that Eddie clearly married a woman who's a lot like his mother. That was really on the nose. Uh, there were a couple gay characters early on in the film, and one of them just seemed really stereotypical to me. Like, in case you couldn't tell by his behavior, it's also pointed out by other characters who were actually stereotypes themselves. Another example is when Bev is in her house as an adult, and you see this giant painting behind her, and it looks like some Dorian Gray shit. It's so obvious that her husband is supposed to be a bad guy. I mean, I have no idea who in the hell would have a painting like that. But when you see it, oh my god, it, it's, <laughs> it's freaking hilarious. Honestly, it felt like everything was oversimplified. Like I said, especially toward the beginning. Every moment in the movie felt like it was five seconds long. Like it was a drive-by plot summary. And then you get to the restaurant scene, which is the best scene in the movie, in my opinion, because it's where you get the most character. The only problem I had was the unimpressive CGI, which actually looked worse than the first movie, somehow. With only a couple exceptions, the effects in this movie were mostly ineffective and unintentionally hilarious. Nothing really scared me, because it looked and was executed like a Goosebumps episode. From a technical aspect, it was... Fine. Some of the shaky cam bothered me, but it was mostly okay. There was one scene from the trailer where they clearly just added a blue filter to make it look like morning. It was really amateur, and you could see their shadows on the pavement, which clearly indicated that the sun was up in the sky. Bill Skarsgård was the best part of the movie, and there wasn't enough of him. The scenes where he was just being Pennywise were genuinely enjoyable, and I want this guy to have his own TV show. There was also a reference to The Thing that was cool, but it was followed up by a quick reference to The Shining, which kind of sucked. There was one scene near the end that really caught my attention because of how it was shot. It was just something I hadn't really seen before, and I, I really liked it. I, I loved the way that it looked. I won't spoil the scene itself, but I'll just say dirt and blood. Ultimately, it was worth seeing. I don't think it was as effective as the first one. Uh, the first one actually scared me in theaters, even though the effect didn't last when I watched it again. It wasn't anything super special, but it's still better than most horror movies that have come out in the past 10 or 15 years. That's not saying a whole lot, but I think it was good. I didn't feel like I wasted my time, and there were a few moments when I definitely got a good laugh, even though I'm pretty sure I was supposed to be scared. So yeah, if you liked the first one, then go check this one out. In the meantime, I'm Dracona, and I'll see you guys next time.